So I think I am gonna take this. Um, before I do that, however, I am going to add a marker here since we're not uh, not cutting things here. So I think this is what we're gonna do. Let's roll the wheel. Let's see what we get. Really? Is that actually an ultra rare that I could take in this set that's good? I don't know. Well, let's find out, shall we? Um, I already have Ancient Fairy Dragon, so I can't take that one. Ultra rare. Okay. Um, so we can take... We could take the Black Wing. Future proofing, but I don't have Armed Wing right now. I'll need to go back and trade for Armed Wing later. But I can do that. That's actually not a problem. We could take this. Um... I found the morsel is not really worth going for. I mean, this one's funny, but it's not really very good against his deck. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon we've got, Wyvern we've got, Golems is funny, but I didn't really get the other X Sabers I thought I'd use it with, I guess. I mean, I guess you don't have to use it with the other X Sabers, but I don't have enough to actually like use this effect, so I don't think Golems is really that worth it. Uh, the Quackimero Gravy Rose. Nah, I don't think it's good enough. Flamebell Commando is level 6, can't be Special Summon, so that's kind of awful. Special Summon this by removing any two Rot Monsters from the graveyard. Hmm. I mean, I was actually considering later on playing the Quackimero Guardian, right? It's not awful for, for that sort of thing, and that's the only other one. So I think it's between this and Vayu, and I gotta admit, I don't like Vayu, so I don't know... I uh, kinda wish I got this one when if, when uh, the last set, when like, Forbidden Chalice was a thing. Because I don't think Golems is really gonna be worth going with. Yeah, nothing's, nothing's really a must-grab. I think it's either Vayu, Golems, or the, the Gaia. Do. Which I mean, again, if I'm gonna play the Kwaki Meru Rock Monsters later, that could be alright. Um, yeah, because I just I don't like the Blackwing here. I think I'm gonna take the Gaia, dude. Yeah, Gollum, Gollum's just isn't that impressive when you're not, especially when you don't have the other bits to it. I think I'm going to take this guy. Guy I played the Earth Giant. Like, he's not amazing right now, but, I mean, he can get over some pretty beefy monsters, so... Yeah, I didn't get Fultrolls or Full Helms. Yeah, so... Gollum's would basically just be a 3100 vanilla, pretty much, because it's kind of hard to summon. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take this guy. So that then means we need to go in for view collection. Uh, so we need Gaia Plate. Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. That's the one. Um, so we will add that. And then we'll just move all of this into my uh, to sort box for later. So that we can get Hidden Arsenal set up here. Okay. So, Hidden Arsenal is not going to be a particularly huge set to go over, but it is going to be something that is worth uh, that is worth opening anyhow, because there are some very nice synchro monsters and stuff in here. Uh, all right, so Hidden Arsenal, I think, is in yeah, it's just in the standard menu. Here. So let's go over our set here. Hidden Arsenal sets are very interesting. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think taking Vayu is something to to trade for Kib is worth it. When you consider that I have Graceful Charity over Kib if he actually wants it. If he wants to do a trade, Graceful Charity is the first thing he would want, right? So I think it's I think it's better just to take something that's reasonably good in general. So anyway, this set introduces a few things, uh, mostly a ice ice barrier and mist valley, which I have I have fuck all idea how these guys work, and I'll just say that now. Uh, there's some flame bell cards in here. X Sabers, the main one being Air Bellum is the, is the one I want. 
Um, and then Ally of Justice comes in here. These are all garbage with the exception of uh, Catastor, which is in this set. Worms are in here as well. These are all garbage without exception. Um, and then the Synchros are actually generally kind of good here. So, uh, what's even best to go over? Let's... I mean... So the Mist Valley stuff works by bouncing cards, right? Soldier's a decent level 4 tuner. Yeah, it is a level 4 tuner, that is true. If I control the space of card, any opponent's monster that battles it, that is not destroyed by the battle, is uh, returned to the hand instead. But it's a level 4 tuner that's decent. Um, I like Rose a little bit more because she's a warrior, so I could roll her with it, but like, this isn't bad. Apex Avian is is actually is Apex Avian actually in this set? Don't think it is. Uh, Apex Avian I know is good though, but yeah, I don't think it's in this one. I think it's in the next one. Um, yeah, the others rely on like bouncing bouncing cards back to the hand, which is not really something we're doing at the moment. Uh, so it's kind of whatever. The Ice Barrier stuff is just very, very mediocre uh, stun-based stuff, really, at the moment. Um, this guy is interesting because he's level 2, uh, 1300, Wetlands Beatdown, you know? Um, so that's kind of fun. It's Gravity Bind on legs as well, but it's like, whatever. Uh, Blizzed is like garbage. Really hope we don't pull this one because it's a worse skill angle, but it's a secret rare, so meh. Um, the Flame Veil stuff in here, Magician is the one we want. Magician's actually great here because it's a uh, super rare, right? So we should get more than enough of this guy. So our little Fire Dog engine will actually be playable because uh, because of this thing. So we might actually try it at some point. I think it could be worth it. So, you know. Uh, Flame Veil Guard is actually really good as well, just as... It, I know it's only 2,000 defense, but it's a general level 1 tuner that's a dragon, right? It's it's low level, low attack dragon tuner. This has got a lot of synergy later on. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, most of the X Sabers don't really care much about it except Airbolum here, because he's a level 3 beast tuner. Um, this is Rescue Cat Fodder. We want one of these to go into the Cloud Beast deck. Um, because I can use that to synchro summon at that point, as well as the fact of its attack, its effect is like disgusting. Uh, if it does if it does direct battle damage, the opponent has to discard the card. It's Spirit Reaper basically, but as a rescue cat target, gross. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, the worm stuff is all flip based. It's it's really bad flip based stuff as well. So I'm gonna bother going over them. Uh, Brionic is super good. We will, hopefully we'll want one of these. Uh, I don't think we're going to be good enough to actually play it to its, uh, to its non... Um, its pre-errata like, effect here. But yeah, this works. This is not a once per turn pre-errata. And it's also... Uh, you can bounce your own cards as well. So if I was to play Premature Burial, this would be the way to do it. Oh, by the way, Premature Burial was also a common in that previous pack, so Kid might actually have it here. Um, yeah, so Cat, this will be a one, a one card. Uh, Cat is Cat is a one card. Rescue Cat specifically is a one card Brianna, so that could be pretty good. This this will just go in as well as the Iron Chain Dragons at the moment. Um, Mistworm is not awful. It's fine until Trish comes out, right? When this card gets summoned, it does take three materials to use, but when this card gets summoned, you can target up to three cards your opponent controls, return them to the hand. This does target, so I would be able to Dark Illusion it, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, the Flame Bell card does not have 200 defense, so it's automatically terrible, but, you know, whatever. It does piercing and gets extra attack every time it does battle damage, big fucking deal. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine, but it's not really what we want to play here. Um, Urbellum is good, just kind of hard to get out. If it does battle damage to your opponent while they have loads of cards in hand, you discard one card. Oh no, it's not even discard. You spin one card back to the top of the deck, which is kind of fun. It's a very weak monster for level 7 though, so... Not priority number one, but we'll see. And then Ally of Justice Catastor is gross. Um, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles anything that isn't dark, it just destroys it. Uh, only problem, Kib is playing a Dark deck at the moment, so uh, it's not very good against Kib right now, but it is a level 5 Synchro that I can go into, and there have been situations where I wanted a level 5, so 
I'd still play it, but it's not immediately good against what Kid's playing right now. Uh, something to keep in mind. But, yeah, very strong card nonetheless. Then there's a couple of Karibo cards. There's a Neos one and a Cyber Dragon card. I don't think any of them are actually worth playing, but, you know. I mean, I guess the Karibo one is kind of fun if you play the Multiply that Kid got before. It is quick play after all, so... So yeah, there is that. But otherwise, yeah, nothing really special. It's mostly Catastor, Mistworm, Brionic, and Airbella is what I want out of here. And then the other stuff, Flamebell Magician is just going to be picked up, right? Flamebell Guard is fine. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I guess Mist Valley Soldier is neat. If I got one of those, I wouldn't be against it. But I'm not going to hold my breath. So, let's just go ahead and open the packs here. We are opening 15 of them, because this set is small compared to the other ones. So, opening 24 would be too many here. But 15, I th uh, 15 is to how many secrets there are, so I think that's a reasonable total to go with. So, hidden arsenal. Let's see what we can do. So, you only get 5 cards per pack. 4 of them are super rares, 1 is a secret. Uh, we will go over how we're handling that later on. Um, otherwise, yeah, Thunderbirds, whatever, the guard is fine. That's that's a decent enough start. Uh, nothing in that one, so it's kind of whatever. Uh, there's the Flame Bell secret, uh, Synchro. It's, I mean, is it even worth playing? Probably not over Iron Chain, so whatever. Uh, Cryomancer, fine. Four packs in and no Flame Bell Magician. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, oh, there's Airbellum. All right, that's really good. We've already got the uh, we've already got the tuna that we need, so that's fine. Ten packs left to go. Uh, Dragnov, whatever. Second Cryomancer really wants me to play Wetlands Beatdown at some point, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, probably not happening, but whatever. Uh, we got Brionic. Okay, that's probably the best of the synchros that we could get in the moment, uh, just because Catastor is not good against Kib's deck. Um, but Bionic is pretty fine, so we'll, we'll definitely go with that. Halfway through and no Flame Bell Magician, that's a little bit concerning. Second Bionic, it's not limited, so I guess we could go with that. Um, yeah, sometimes that piercing is fine. I mean, yeah, we'll put it in just because it can, but... Uh, Commander Gotham's doesn't really do anything but it here. We still don't have Flame Bell Magician, and we're like 10 packs in. Still don't have it. Shaman is really bad. Uh, what else do we still need? Missed one? Uh, Evolution Blast. Oh man, this could be going better. There's a third Brionic, alright. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we are 12 packs in and I did not get a single Magician yet. Uh, we got Arabellum, okay. Still no Magician. Yeah, we're gonna get a trade in, but like, fuck, dude. Oh, this is not looking good, is it? Uh, yeah, no magician. No magician whatsoever. I'm gonna have. I will take the trade from this pack to get it, I think. But no flame veil magician in 15 packs. Like, wow. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> yes, that is actually something which I was going to suggest anyway is the Hidden Arsenal cards can one for one other Hidden Arsenal cards. Like, if that wasn't already clear, that is something which I would have suggested, rather than a free for one trade thing with it. We'll get to that as we go though, but man, that's pretty annoying to be honest. Uh, we did get Triple Brionic, so there is that. Uh, I just want to open a few more outside of this and just see. Uh, I just want to see how long would it have taken me to get one. Because this is 17 packs. 18, and there's one. Okay, yeah, 18 packs it would have taken. That's kind of sucky, but oh well. Um, okay, view collection. So let's actually filter through these real quick and see exactly what we picked up. Maybe I just didn't catch it, but I'm pretty sure I would have seen it. Uh, we did not get any excess secrets, I don't think. Yeah, no, there's no magician in here. Um... 
Yeah, we didn't get any excess secrets. We got two triples, one of which being Brianna. It's kind of fun, I guess. Um, no Mistworm, but I think I'm okay with that. Like, I, I don't see me using that too much at the moment anyway. Uh, we did get the one Air Bellum. That's all I actually wanted out of this set right now, I think. But luckily I did get one, because I think I do kind of need that for what we're going with here. Okay. Internet, please? Okay, um, are we back, question mark? No. Okay, I can see the bitrate going up a lot off of that. Are we back now? Okay, it's going again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I wonder... Because I, I lost connection to chat there as well. If you said anything between, like, New Rule and Mistworm, I didn't see it. I wonder what happened there. I don't know if that was like my internet cut out, cut out for a sec, or if it was Twitch cutting out. I imagine the former, but... Huh. Didn't say anything else? Okay, well at least I didn't miss anything then. Um, yeah, okay, so we didn't get, like I said, we didn't get Mistworm, but that's kind of whatever. Um, Flamebell Magician not being picked up is really annoying, actually. I was, uh... Ugh. I'll have to see if Kib got a ton of those, because I might want to try and trade for that. Brionic is a free of is pretty funny though. If he didn't get a Brionic, maybe I'd trade one of those. Because I don't need three of them, right? I'm going to play three of them because I have it, but, you know, whatever. Then, getting the x Saber or, or Bellum is fine. I'm probably never going to go into it, but I might as well put it in the deck, right? Because, you know, might as well fill the extra deck up with stuff that so, with that all said, uh, let us go back into the actual uh, Dolan book here, because I think we we have a tiny bit to, to change here, but I'm going to try and go with a Glad Beast this time. <laughs> I understand what Kip was saying when he was like, ah, oh, that was just a counter deck then. I understand it. It wasn't like entirely built for that like okay it was built to counter the fact if he has every single card as a single target thing right or a targeting effect but like i think what he was trying to say it as a counter deck for was like you know oh you played soroko it's a counter deck and i'm like no it's a side deck tech because i you know because black wings are good <laughs> You know, it's a little bit different from like, oh, it's you you built the deck solely to counter what I played, right? Little bit of a little bit of a of a stretch to go to uh, to go to the other extreme there, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, um, yeah, exactly. The side deck exists for that, right? Okay, so we have torrential tribute as a second copy now. We've got to play that. Um, we have Egg Saber, Egg Saber Air Bellum. I do need to play that. Compliment the main dish. Exactly. There you go. Uh, all right, let's take you out. I need to start taking the the synchros that I can't play out of here now. Good evening. Um, Egg Saber Air. Uh, 
where is he? Arabella, there we go. Okay, so there's you, Bryonic, we've got the three of. It's not limited anymore because of the errata, but it's fine. We're not playing with that. And then Flame Bell, this guy. So yeah, we're definitely going going down that bit of a bit. Now I just need to, to take out stuff for the TT and the guy, which is going to have to get sighted here, I think. Um, It pains me to do it, but I think I might have to ditch Grand Ball to put Witch inside here. And then one of a card. I mean, maybe I don't actually play the second TT in the main deck at the moment. Black Wings are really good at just swarming the field, though. It feels bad not playing it. I guess I could replace Botless for it. That's a Kuna with Chain, yep. I guess I could do it that way. So now that the, now that the random disconnects have completely killed the momentum that I've had in the stream there, uh, thanks to those who have stuck around. Um, let's go over the deck that we'll be playing in this one then. So it's Gladiator Beast, it's Rescue Cat variant because we have two Test Tigers here now. Um, so the main core, the crux of the comma here is Rescue Cat, tributes itself, gets out two level 3 or lower beast type monsters from the deck. This is pre Arata Rescue Cat, so the effects are still alive, which means that I can use Sam Knight if I can keep it alive in the battle. Sam Knight can tag back in, get a different Black Beast out, or we can go Test Tiger plus Sam Knight, tribute the Test Tiger to put Sam Knight back in deck, get a different Black Beast out, and their effects are activated. Or new to it now, we have one copy of Xaber Erebellum that is a tuna monster that we can do uh, synchro summoning with, with it as well. So we can actually synchro into a level 6 now in, in addition. So Very, very strong setup with that. Uh, I like how he's got the X on his Wolverine, on uh, the base of his Wolverine claws there, by the way. Uh, yeah, so Rescue Cat is kind of the crux of getting a lot of the deck going in terms of the speed aspect here. So hopefully we'll get to do some good stuff with that. Uh, as far as the effects and stuff go, Bestiari is needed for Geysaurus, as well as it pops the spell and trap when it gets uh, summoned out. So that can be really good to get rid of uh, the back row stuff that we've had issues with. Darius gets to special summon a monster back to the deck, uh, to the field from the graveyard when it comes out. There's another Glad Beast, so you can use that to get a Bestiari out of the grave and go into Geysaurus, get the triggers and stuff that way. Or you can go into Heraclinos with that. A quest, good old horse, is uh, pretty good at recovering your resources, especially War Chariot that we will eventually get more of, but right now we're sticking with just one, so we've got that. Um, but yeah, we can get the Glad Beast out of the, out of the grave so we can go ahead and uh, get more uh, summoning going, so that's always fun. Um, Hoplumus, Hoplidipidu, is just really big in defense. It's kind of hard for most monsters to get over this right now. So, like, 2100 is fairly big. They even stop Cyber Dragon. So this is a way of getting more monsters out, like, get, having more chance of it surviving battle and getting the tag out. Uh, Laquari goes to 2100 attack when it tags out. This is usually the sort of one you go for early in the game. Mamilio destroys a monster when it tags in, so that's obviously pretty strong in its own right. Uh, Sam Knight, if it isn't used for the Rescue Cat part, lets you search out Glad Beast cards, which is strong. Not sure if it's the, the best effect out of the bunch at the moment, just because you want to use this guy for the synchros and whatnot. But, you know, he is still a very strong card. I wouldn't play less than two here. Luckily, I have two, so I can run with that. And then Sekutor is the new guy on the block here, because he actually lets me get two Glad Beasts out if he can survive a battle. Which his stats is super weak, but there is a way of getting him to survive a battle, and that is with the Hidden Tech Hedge Guard. So this is a hand trap that lets you uh, make sure that your monster survives the battle that it's getting, it's involved in there, and at the cost of half of the monster's attack for the rest of the turn. 
Uh, but it lets you survive a battle, and if this is the one that lets you get uh, the Glad Beast Tag Out effect to happen, then, you know, all power to it. It's definitely what you want here. Uh, this would be Waboku if I had it, but I don't, so we've got to try and play around that a little bit, and I think this is going to be the way that we do it. With the other controlling option, option controlling cards that we have here, I think this will work out just fine. Uh, triple Rescue Cat, again, it's the, the crux of the deck. Two Test Tiger probably would be a third one if I had it, but it's an Ultra and a Gold Series card. Can't necessarily expect to have more of it, but I mean, having two is ridiculous in a draft anyway, so... <laughs> could always try and trade for Kip's third one. Oh, um, he wouldn't do that anyway. Uh, and then the one Witch, this used to be two, but now we have Air Bellum in here, which actually can be searched by Witch as well, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, so pretty pretty neat all around with the monster stuff here. Uh, Spell-wise, two Book of Moon. It would be a third one, but we're playing the long game here. I'll trade for it later on. Uh, Cold Wave is new to the deck here. I know Cold Wave was played a lot in... Uh, the Glad Beast Prime, at the very least. Uh, this card was played as uh, a way of shutting down all of the opponent's uh, battle traps and stuff for the time, and compulses, all of, all of the annoying stuff that you'd be going up against. So we're going to try it here as well. Dark Overgeki, the usual removal stuff, Graceful Charity, but agreed, the usual draw stuff, Heavy Storm and an MST, and a Dust Tornado, the usual uh, spell trap removal. Playing Dust here because Imperial Order exists in his deck now, and so I'm kind of on the fence about playing like only MSTs here. I think playing the Dust Tornado might be worth it. Also baits out his own removal too, and sometimes I can get uh, some of these sneaky traps here, like Kunai or uh, Compulse Down, or Chariot even, get them down more safely against uh, some of his MSTs and stuff like that. Uh, April Choice, absolute all-star in this deck. If this resolves, then it should guarantee a really easy uh, early game play for getting Glad Beast out. Probably Geysaurus should come out if I can resolve this properly, so that would be really good. And then trap-wise, I've got one Compulse, so we're trying to make sure that we can guarantee which battles get played. Uh, War Chariot is the absolute all-star, is the reason to play this deck in the first place. Uh, when I get more of these, I will play more of them, but for just now, we're playing the long game a little bit with that, so... Chariot negates effects. This will negate so many things that you can play. Uh, Blizzard gets shut down, Gale gets shut down, probably a lot of his uh, Synchro Monsters will get shut down with that now as well. Kunai Wood Chain, actually surprisingly good. Uh, you can use this in Damage Step in order just to get the extra little bit of uh, attack power that you need to run over a monster, or you can use it like another Book of Moon, and you can swap the enemy position so that you don't have to actually engage in that fight. So, surprisingly good card at the moment, to be honest. Um, then otherwise, Mirror Force is now two Torrential Tributes because we have uh, picked up the second one from our Retro Packs. So, that's that. Side deck wise, we've got the Gale because it's a good tuner, just as a generic thing. It lets you get over strong monsters. Anything below 2600 attack just gets run over with this. Anything below, like, oh, what is it? Uh, this would be 18, so anything below 3600 get is uh, beaten up by this plus kunai, so that's pretty cool. Soroko is an out to the uh, Blackwing stuff specifically. If uh, he is playing Blackwings, then I can side this in and allow me to, as we saw in the previous game, suck up the attack of every single Blackwing that's in play and get a gigantic swing turn off, so that's good. Tribe is really good against your single, ty single type decks, um, like Black Wings, but you know, it just happens to work there, but it's just a good card in general. Generally, uh, one for ones if nothing else, but you know, powerful monster based removal. Uh, Witch in the side deck, because I can't fit it in the main deck anymore. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need another one of these, but if for some reason, say the Hedge Guard doesn't work, or if I don't like Secutor in the deck, I'll probably put Witch in instead. Um, double my body, he's playing triple Icarus attack, I need to, and double Mirror Force now, since I've reminded him of it, but he's got two Mirror Force and this, and probably Torrential Tribute, if, well, maybe. He only opened one Retro Pack, so he might not have it, but, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, double my body's there, double my MST, because Black Wings really do not want their back row removed, especially with Whirlwind, so we will have that there as well. Black Horn of Heaven stops the inherent summons of the Black Wings, as well as, uh, 
synchro summons, so this is a pretty strong card for that. Bombless uh, was in here, but Trench Tribute I think is going to be better as a 2 off here. Uh, this might just get sucked in though. Depends how I feel about double TT in game 1. And then uh, 7 Tools and Trap Stone are my anti-trap card stuff, because he has plenty of vigorous attacks and plenty of strong stuff that way. So we will go with that. So, uh, my net cut out halfway through the the going over my collection thing there. I've got the collection, everything's fine that way, but I need to, uh, I need to stitch these videos together now because apparently, uh, my connection died somehow. I don't know if it was my internet or if it was Twitch, but, you know, unfortunate. Uh, um, that's why I actually stopped my stream after the first pack opening. And when I deafened, I ended the stream and came back because I'm getting tired of the audio cutting out at random points and nobody pointing it out. That is a very good point. However, that wouldn't have helped this time because it wasn't an audio cut thing. It was just my stream, like, actually. Oh, I know it wouldn't have actually helped actually your right. I'm just saying on my end, but yeah. This is yeah. Funny. No, I... I don't I, about helping you out. <laughs> I told... Yeah, who cares about that? Like, seriously. Helping me? As if that's ever going to happen. Um, really? <laughs> Right, I will be in in just a sec. Uh, All right, take your time. Oh, there he is. Right. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, dual room. Let's go in and see what we get. So, yep. despite being a small set, there's some nice stuff to go in here, at least. Oh yeah. Um, oh, that's a change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. Yes! <Bonk>. Got him! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's see. Uh. Okay. Alright, so, sorry. Um, Octo was just answering a question I had a minute ago. That's fine, no worries. That's a shame, because I had like 14 people watching at that point too, and it's less than half of that now, because I'm dying uh, for a bit. I'm just like, oh man. That's a shame. Alright, well, let's sure. do a good old pose. Well, okay. a line pose, but meh. Alright, is my draw fine? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> let's have some fun, shall we? Oh, uh, here we go. Is that okay? Yep, go on. Right, let's see what we want to do with this then. Okay. Switch. So I've got to actually, I've got to figure what I actually want to do in right here. Um. So well, I mean, I don't necessarily resolve it all too often in this deck. Uh, yeah. So That's a lot let's. Of contrasting with the black. Just looking at the deck covers and looking at the background, it's like, hmm, that's a lot of white. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with putting him in the grave. Oh, this deck. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's why you changed. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting in the mood, I see. Yeah, we're getting we're getting into the swing of it here. Um, I'm trying to think what is worth dumping here. Um, probably you? Guess there. Um, Ryan's not here, so I can't make fun of names without him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, funny enough, when um, we were looking through the cards, um, the Koki monsters, the Koki Mensu, yeah. whatever, I kept calling them Cookie Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and that bugged him too. <laughs> it's like, nice. Cookie. All right, let's put Dust Tornado in the grave. I think that seems reasonable. Um, yeah. Guys, a super ominous song is on my playlist right now, by the way. <laughs> At the iron core of Cookie Mero, there you go. <laughs> um, iron core of Cookie Monster. Yeah. Uh, 
God, I don't know. Like, I don't... That's the problem is I haven't actually, uh... I haven't resolved it enough in this deck, I don't think, to really know what is best here. Uh, we'll put Witch in Grave. Witch! Welcome oh, back, Brownie. See. Um, we just started our dueling after we just opened our hidden arsenal packs. Yeah, and I'm taking, like, ten hours on Painful Choice here because I have no idea what the hell to actually put. <laughs> because I know Chaos is wanting to backseat this so badly, it is just like, I understand that, but, uh... Uh, you know what? We'll put Darius. <laughs> Painful to watch then. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. So that's an interesting cast. Uh. Um. Take your dust right out. Okay, to the hand that goes. Okay, uh, then we will pot agreed. Meh! <laughs> Is that okay? Go on. Alright. I know you have order now, so I kind of do need to yeah. double check. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, let's MST the back row here. Okay, that's good for me. <sighs> okay, normal summon rescue cat. No, bad kitty. Rescue cat's gonna use its effect. It's gonna go to grave. I'm gonna take two level three or lower beast type monsters out of my deck in special, which is going to be test tiger and sand knight. Right, uh, Test Tiger's effect can activate. I will tribute that in order to bounce this back and get a get one of these out with its effects uh, in play. Once I see which one I need to do it with. Um, so that is going to be where are you, Darius comes on out. Darius's yeah, effect Darius. will activate. We're gonna get Bestiari out. And uh, Bestiari is going to uh, not use its effect, but it's going to be part of the, the thing here, so I can put these two back to top of the deck to get those out of Oh no, don't view it. Uh, I guess viewing is fine, it still shuffles a little bit. Uh... Yeah. Alright, so Geysarus comes in. This thing's effect can trigger and get rid of the Shore. Meh. And then battle phase, we are going to hit with that for 24. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, uh, he's going to tag back out as well now to at the end of battle phase, go right there, so we can grab ourselves. Uh, it's going to be Darius and Laquari. Darius' effect can trigger to bring out the quest that I still have here as well. And then main two, we're gonna link uh, I say link these away, we're gonna put, we're gonna contact these back to get Heraclinus out. Again, I'm freaking viewing when I need to shuffle. Uh, the perfect top draw. Yeah, I mean, painful choice into pot of green is pretty good. I'm not gonna deny that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna set one. How many do I? No, I'm. <sighs> well, have you actually got nothing too dangerous? Um, yeah, I'm gonna set two when you get to go. Oh, hum. Painful backseat pain was because, you know, I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to put a Laquari there, but I was thinking if I put Laquari in that hand, you're probably just going to give me it and it would make it harder for me to actually get the stuff off. Alright, hmm. 
faster version of the deck than I was able to play before, huh? Maple story now. You got it. Used to play the game a lot when it uh, when it was pretty uh, pretty new to the scene. So. Ah, uh, I really can't do much here, can I? All right. Well, we're gonna try. I know it's not gonna be activated, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, have to stop that from going through. I think I'm gonna. Discard Bestiari. Uh, Alright. Well, I can special summon in defense mode. Yep. attack mode. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Because I only just remembered this card has an effect. It sure does, yep. So then, um, I guess while I'm in main phase, I will activate it, so Gale Wing will force Herac Heraclinos to have his attack and defense in half. Yeah, that's gonna resolve. Be grateful that I do not have Triple Chariot right now, because I'm pretty yeah. sure I would have had the Chariot down, and that would have just been... been yeah, I mean, if you had Chariot, <laughs> if you had Chariot, I know you would have had something. Like, I was just waiting for something to happen. Like, I, like, all right, show me it, show me it. I'm just waiting for it, show yeah. me it. So this is a permanent debuff, too. This guy's at 1,500, 1,400 for the rest of, uh, whilst it's face up now. Yeah, and it doesn't say until end turn, yeah. No, it's permanent, so... Right. Battle phase? Um... The fact you activate it shows you know you have something in the background that's good. It's not War Chariot, I don't think. Unless you don't, didn't want to activate it. Yeah, which would have been um, probably pretty silly here, because if I had to play Chariot, then it would have been game over guaranteed. Oh yeah. Uh, do I... take the chance anyway? I'm going to say fuck it. Cyber Dragon attack? Yeah, sorry, buddy. I knew it. Oh, boy. Yeah, this deck's a lot faster than it was, but I mean, I, I did... Hands up on it, I did have Painful Choice Pot of Green. That's kind of gross. So, uh, you know. Um... Oh. <laughs> yeah, y'all guys think that. I don't think that. If it's not obvious enough, I don't think that. Are you getting told you should have gone Stardust here or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would have been good. I don't know if it would have been 
completely enough, but it would have been very good at least. Yeah, you could have had uh, someone else off it, but... <laughs> can I read mines? No, I can read my own chat. <laughs> Chaos is like, should have went to Stardust, and I'm like... Yeah, maybe, but uh, Stardust is safe, if nothing else. That's the, uh, that's, well, yeah, again, safer. It could always get booked or something, I suppose. But uh, but even then, I'm at 1500, so I'm, uh, it is what it is. It's, uh, I mean, I could have very easily had Black Horn of Heaven down or something instead, right? And Stardust wouldn't have been able to tribute itself to stop that because it's too slow. Uh, so, you know, with two back row down as well, it's pretty it's pretty hard to say, uh, oh yeah, you should have done this with it because you don't know what I've got down. Again, Black Horn of Heaven would have just shirked that all completely, you know. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, how disgusting do I actually want this turn one to be here? Because this could get very, very rude. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna normal summon rescue cat. Yep. And cat's gonna cat. We're gonna get. Uh... <sighs> yeah, this this is a thing. Um, I guess I could go for it. Let's see, what do I? Yeah, we'll get Tiger and Sam Knight out here. So Tiger's gonna use its effect, it's gonna tribute. This goes back into deck, and we will take. So I can't take another one of itself, obviously. Uh, you know what? I might as well just take off with you. Make sure I get a decent defense out here. Uh, we're gonna set Hippo one. Protein. We're gonna set one, and you're good to go. Hippo protein. Yep. Hippo protein. <laughs> That's a really good one, actually. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mocking, <laughs> uh. we're having fun with them. Don't don't judge us. Oh. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay. Got a special summon.
this Giovanni song that's on right now is absolutely perfect for the situation. <laughs> so <laughs> ominous. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I think if this works, alright, I'm going to activate. Okay, yep. Get born. That's fine. Yep. So I will take your rescue cat. Kitty! Okay. Now, Star Dragon was special summoned, so I'm going to now normal summon. Okay, yep. Alright. Now Synchro Sencho. Okay. That's not the way that's not the way it's worded, I know. Don't care. <laughs> Just gonna get. Oh, okay. I think I know what this will get, but better option. Yeah, it is going to get Brionic. Okay. So this card is pre errata You will be able to do this as, you know, multiple times per turn. It can affect your own cards as well. But I don't think that's what you're going to do here. I'm just stating that it is actually a multi-use thing here. Yeah. Alright, so that was a normal summon. Um, yeah, so you've used all of your normal side, etc. And you yeah. don't have a Blackwing play anymore, so like Bora and stuff like that. Yeah. Can't special themselves, so I think you're out of summons this turn. But... Yeah, I mean, that's. I, I figured, yeah. Uh, this is, by the way, is why we're opening the Hidden Arsenal sets, because, like, having having access to summon this way just in case the Synchro pull didn't work out, as it hasn't really for you so far. Like, this is, this gives you the synchro you can play now. And a yeah. good one at that. Uh, it's a pretty good one. Alright, um, before I activate its effect then, I'm going to activate this. Okay, um, that is actually one of us. Uh-huh. Uh, do I want to go all in? I think I do. I'm going to... I'll discard this one. Okay, yep, and this bounce is about to hand, right? Yeah. Okay. Hippo Pumple. Alright, then I guess battle phase. Yeah, I will take both. So that is 4400. Alright, main two. I'll enter on that. Alright, uh, sucks to be you, I'm afraid. We're gonna regeki. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me just double check one of the cards here, but it's in, unfortunately, it's in deck. I'm excited to see, but let me just double check one of the cards here so I know I'm not gonna mess this the play up. Because, uh, you can probably check your collection if you wanna find it. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Um, I can. I just need to find where I'm putting it. <laughs> well, Rogeki is limited, so you know. Uh, even if uh, even if we were to go for it that way. Uh, Alright, I guess I've not put it in there. <laughs> there it is. Right. Okay. Let me take a look. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Right. Uh, okay, I think I have my line of play here then. We're gonna normal summon Harplodamus. We're gonna monster reborn Test Tiger. Oh. Test Tiger is gonna use its effect, it's gonna attribute, this is gonna go back into deck, and we are going to take ourselves. Uh, where is he? 
and down the bottom, we are gonna take a cell second turn. Second turn? So when this guy does, uh, when this guy survives battle, he will take two Gladiator Beast monsters out of the deck, and he doesn't shuffle himself back in. So battle phase, we are going to hit for the 400 damage here, and we are going to get. What have I done, Grave? Absolutely nothing of note. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's just yeah. So we're going to get Laquari, and we are going to get. It does not matter because he's not staying in play. We're going to get this guy out. Because main two, we're gonna. These are all glad beasts after all, we're gonna put them all back into Heracles. Bring him out. Go ahead. Ho, oh, hum. Well, let's just do a good old T-pose. Alright. Uh, straight to battle phase, we're just gonna hit. Okay. Um, this turn. Uh, main two, I am gonna set one of you up to go. Mmm. Well, I'm going to force you to do something, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm going to discard Tarantula to, uh, to stop yep. that. Okay. Um, alright, let's, uh, normal summon the quest. Yep. Um, yeah, battle phase, we're going to hit. Yep, hit with both. Uh, he's going to go back into the deck here. And I suppose I should probably... T should I take Bestiari? I should probably take Bestiari, let's be real. Um, yeah, I think I probably should. We're gonna get Bestiari out to pop the back row. Yep. And yeah, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna discard Hedgeguard to stop that. Sorry. <laughs> One time I get Potter Green out. I, I know, can't I know. <laughs> Heraclitos is disgusting. Ah. Oh. Okay, my face down was Book of Moon. I figured Book was probably the best general set here. Uh, because, yeah, I wasn't going to set Tarantial Tribute, obviously, when I've done this thing out. And, uh, yeah. Hedgeguard was the hidden tech that we didn't get to actually see uh, run off here, but it's a pretty freaking good one. Um,. Yeah, if you've only got one monster that can run over by, like, the hopliness at the start there, I can hedge guard to stop it being destroyed in that battle. It does half its attack for the turn, but who cares if it's in defense, right? So it, it goes from hand to graveyard to stop it from being destroyed by that battle. If you can't run over it with anything else, then I get to put it back in the deck and trigger the effects. So... Yeah, um... The Greed play turn one, I had Monster Reborn as well as, uh, Monster Reborn, Rescue Cat, Mirror Force, uh, Raigeki, and uh, Wall of uh, Hedgeguard in my, my like, opening hand. The Greed play was to like, Reborn and go double Rescue Cat, but that would have been pretty terrible to be honest. Um, I could have probably actually Reborn the Cat instead of the Tiger, so I could have gotten my second Tiger out of the deck, but like, I don't know, I wanted just to, to get Heraclinos out any way possible, really. That was the way that I saw at the time, so that's what I went with. Uh, yeah, this deck is a lot faster than it was before, that's for sure. Um, we'll pop the last one out with that. Hopefully. No? Oh, I've got a. It would have to say no one, okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so this deck is way faster than it was before because uh, now I actually have the means to use Rescue Cat. 
Right, because I only had one tiger before, it's like one tiger, the two Sam Knight, I had nothing else a rescue cat could play. So before when we played this when you first got the Black Wings out, it was like, okay, I wanna use the rescue cat stuff, but it's too much deck space when I can't reliably get it. If I draw, like my opening hand would be like Sam Knight Test Tiger or something. That's cool and all, but then all of my rescue cats are dead. And it's like it's it's much harder to play when I don't have enough targets. So I held off on it for a bit, and then last round I wanted to try Dark Illusion, and we didn't get to actually see it activate, but really last round was just Dark Illusion. That was that was more or less the play, and uh, yeah, I I wanted to play this, but I needed to wait just a little bit longer so I could try and get Evelyn, which I got one copy of. So this deck can actually synchro summon as well now, because Rescue Cat can get Airbellum out of the deck, and it's a level 3 tuner, so... I can actually go into the Synchro plays if I need to. Of which you probably won't... Well, I mean, you might be surprised at the number. I actually pulled three of this guy. <laughs> which is pretty silly, I only really need the one, but uh, I do have three of it at least, so it is there. And then... Yep. The other ones, I got one copy of Urbellum, which is fine, it's a bit weak, but like, his discard is kind of neat, I suppose. And I got one copy of the Flame Bell one. I did not get Ally of Justice Catastor, even though it would be pretty bad against your deck at the moment, I don't have a level 5 that I can go into right now. And Catastor is one of the best ones too, so I'm a bit, bit bummed that I didn't get that. Um, the other thing I might actually want to try and trade you for at some point, I pulled zero Flame Bell Magician. I, somehow, it's the super in the set, and I just got none of it. I have all the fire dogs that I need for the thing, but I have none of the magician. I'm probably going to use the trade in to get one, right? The not the trade in, the you know what I mean, the one the one trade per per set thing. We can still do that with these ones. So I'm probably going to get one from that. But if you've got enough of them, I'd actually be interested in training for that. But like an engine, I only on. have three. You have three. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a shame. Alright, so I guess I'm going to need to go ahead and do some trades for that later on then. Uh, but, um, with regarding pulls, yep. I only put one of him in here, but I pulled four. Four? Oh, wow, so you've got a secret red trade. That's really good. Yep. Um, um, I... I pulled two of Catastor. Ah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I wish I had that, to be honest. Like, I... again wanted to try this one. It was it seemed like an interesting I card. I also got zero of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, watch if I play Dark Illusion, though, because that does target, so... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty good for the time. We'll get a better replacement for it later, but for right now, that's pretty strong. Um, yeah, pretty much the deck is the same as it was before. Um, I just tried, like, some other things as well. Um, I wanted to try and justify using this one. Ah, uh, the power tool. They saw me pull him, but like I wanted to justify trying to run him. So I had Snatch Steel, I had Nuzzler, and Megamorph. Megamorph. Okay. Oh, did you not get Premature then out of the Retro Bat? No. No. That's a shame. Um. Yeah. The the Retro Bat was. Okay, it was interesting. I got two cards out of it, one which I'm not playing at the moment because it doesn't fit this deck. Uh, I got a second Torrential Tribute. I don't know if it's great at the moment because, right, like this deck doesn't really want to kill its own dudes, but I figured Black Wings are a bit of a puke deck, so I might as well at least try and put it in. So I did get, I did get that. Um, the other card, though, I didn't miss it this time, I got Yada Garazu. Yeah, yeah and I boy. didn't... I, I'm not going to play it at the moment for sure, but like I didn't miss it this time. Um, it was a common in, this, in the packs, I got it in the second one. Yeah. So... Yeah, I didn't get him, though. No. I didn't get Book of Moon, which I was really going to say, okay, I'm going to take the wheel off of this for it. But I'm actually playing the long game a little bit here, because I didn't... What I've, what I've ended up working out is that, okay, we can't do a trade from this set, right? And if I took the wheel from the last one, I want War Chariot, right? That's in Duelist Genesis, that's from this era, era. So I wanted to use the cards from here to trade for Chariot. But that means I need to wait a couple of sets, basically. I need to wait until 
we've drafted the next one, Stardust Overdrive, before I can take the wheel and actually get what I want off it. So, yeah, this deck will get better on the effect negation part for sure, but, you know, that's that's just gotta wait slightly longer. Uh, so I didn't take the Book of Moon that I wanted yet, but, you know... Uh, <laughs> Chaos is wanting me to do Gnarly as Turbo because of the, uh, cause of the Yana Karazu. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's got Nolius, though, not me! <laughs> Nolius to... Turbo? Yeah, the, you remember the Sky Scourge that needs the fiends and the fairy, the, the Dark Fiend Light Fairy in the graveyard to special oh. it? Its effect is basically Chaos Emperor without the burn damage, but you draw a card afterwards. It's just much harder to get out. He's wanting me to trade to get that, so I can go with that plus Yata. <laughs> uh, secretly, Chaos is very evil, but who would have, who would have ever guessed that, right? Uh... But yeah, otherwise, yeah. I mean, I think this deck is definitely a lot better than before. It's gonna get better again when I get the War Chariot, so I know the more than one copy of it. Because if that was a War Chariot instead of like Dust Tornado that I had at the beginning of the uh, the first game, uh, Heraclinus would have just wrapped that up immediately, right? Because Gale would have had nothing that it could have done. And it's like, yeah, this deck will get better when I can trade for that, but I don't know. Getting Heraclinos out that quickly in both games is uh, shocking even to me. I didn't see that coming in my uh, in my testing, my hand test and stuff with this one, so... Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I did. We did say when Rescue Cat was was in this in the set that we pulled it from. It's like keep an eye on this thing. It's gonna get ridiculous at some point. I guess this is that point. Uh... I don't think it's even the fact about the Rescue Cat. It's just the fact you have every card you need to pull off the exact same deck that apparently Brownie had when he was growing up. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess that would be that would be a thing with it. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, you have a secret rare you can trade, so there is uh, there is at least that. You can get any one any one card that you uh, your heart desires when you can do the next trade in. Uh, if did, I think about it. Yeah. Did you take the wheel last time round, or did you take yes. the trade? Yeah. Okay. Um, I got an ultra rare wild card from the last set, but having already got ancient berry dragon and even the secret wyvern, it's like I didn't really know what to get. I was tempted to get the Blackwing, like the Value Emblem of Honor, but I don't like it, and I would need to trade for Armwing to make it usable. So I was like, ah, it seems bad. I don't really want that. So, ha, it was sort of taught to maybe I could take it and try and like trade bait with it, but I'm like, nah, I've already got Graceful Charity I can do that with. So, uh, I don't need it for that. Um, so what I took in the end, I think I took the, was it Gaia Plate thing? The, it's a rock monster that like you have to banish two rocks out of the graveyard for it or something to summon it. Uh, it's got a maintenance cost of banishing a rock or sending it to the grave at the end of turns or something. I forget which one. I think it's at the end of your turn. And then it's 2800 and it halves any monster's attack and defense that battles it. So it gets over a lot of stuff. And if I want to play the Quarky Meru, like Guardian later on, when I think there's like one or two more Quarky Meru's uh, rocks that could make a decent like stun deck at some point during this era, uh, if I want to play that, then I'll have rocks in the graveyard for it. So, you know, it seemed like it was the best of bad options, basically. You know, last set wasn't yeah. very good anyway, and we already got the, the bad card out of it, so... It was fine. Uh, you know what's funny though? I don't think I. I mean, unless you rolled it last round, I don't think either of us have rolled that extra deck slot yet. <laughs> it's like 20% no. of the wheel at least, and I don't think either of us have rolled it. It's kind of stupid. No, I actually pulled off the wild card tournament pack. Oh, okay. Wild card, uh, tournament pack, or was it? Uh, shit, what was it? Yeah, I think it is for the retro pack. Yeah, if, if you've got wildcard tournament pack on your slot, that's any one card from that retro pack too. So... 
If you haven't already taken that, think carefully on that one. Well, I already did. You can see it from my graveyard. Oh yeah, so I can. Yeah, you got TT as well, alright. Yeah, I wasn't sure because it was a common in that set, so you could have easily just ripped it as, yeah. as I did. And I didn't draw it, so, you know. Yeah. That's fine. So here's the funny thing then. You've got two... Uh, I think again, well, you've got Icarus attached, so you don't necessarily need to play it. You've got two Mirror Force and one Tribute. I've got two Tribute and one Mirror Force. Really weird how this has ended up going. <laughs> uh, we'll see uh, We'll see how that pans out in the long run. But hey, at least... If we... I can activate it, but you know, with mm. Herrick Linos out there, I'm gonna have a bit of a problem with that. Yeah, yeah, this guy's a bit of a menace. <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll we'll see at some point with it. Uh, when does a Fet Veiler come in? I know, and Fiendish Chain as well. There's a couple of uh, there's a couple of Fet Blockers that come in fairly soon. I don't remember when they do. Um, Alright, so uh, with that all done, I suppose there's not really a lot to talk about in this little 30 card set, right? So um, I think. It'll just be get on to the the fancy wheel that we have uh, we have for this one then. Both winner and loser wheels are actually pretty good on this one. Uh, even though we did not take the trade ins last time, we are not allowed to trade this one in because this one is uh, very special and could potentially have some fantastic uh, fun stuff for it. There, I think this is the right one. Yeah, loser wheel hidden arsenal. All right. Yep. So. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much uh, where we'd have to stop anyway, even if we uh, wanted to go on because yeah, because uh, I have like twenty minutes. On yeah, the running, twenty minutes on the thing. So I figured that was that was about the case. But thank you very much for playing, regardless. Uh, so just so you know, this is still in two thousand and nine. We're gonna basically just use the exact same uh, like wild card stuff as last time. If you get promo, it's still yeah. in two thousand and nine. If you get structure deck, it's still the warrior one. Um, I don't think Tournament Pack is actually on this wheel because this is uh, this is all like the Mega Packs that came out in this era, uh, or when Hidden Arsenals were a thing. So they are named specifically, so like Yugi's World Mega Pack, Joey's World Mega Pack, Ra, etc. They are all uh -huh. named ones which are in the pack collection bit. Uh, I think. Let me just double check exactly exactly where they are. Uh, I think they are above the Duelist ones, right? Legends Duelist, Legendary Duelist, Legendary Mega Packs. Yeah, Ra Yellow, Duel Academy, Yuki as well, Joey as well. Legendary Mega Packs is what they're under. That's just above the the two the like the Duelist, uh, just under uh -huh. the Arsenal ones actually. So if you roll one of those, I think I have set them at two. I think we were we were gonna. I was gonna look to get a discussion of whether two or three would be better, but I think two is is just fine here. These packs are generally fairly big, and there's, they always have uh, rare, ultra, super, and secret in them, so they should be pretty good regardless. And uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? We were gonna go over the the rarity stuff, right? Or how we're gonna handle the hidden arsenal stuff? Should we just do yeah. that next time, or? Like, um, we'll do that next time, because yeah. I don't think I'm going to make any trade-ins or anything here until we get, like, yeah. an idea. Just just note that if you are trading for a Hidden Arsenal thing, like a Super Ref and that, you don't have to do a free-for-one trade on that, because that would be stupid, right? It's basically trading a common for a common out of the pack at that point. So, yeah. if you want to trade, if you've got a Super Ref that you need, like me and that stupid Flame Bell Magician, then just go ahead and trade in one Super from Hidden Arsenal, and just go with that. Alright. Hi. Uh, well, thank you very much for playing, my dude. Um, sorry, that kind of didn't go as planned, but uh... oh well. Um, it happens. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do any games in between now and what Thursday, I guess would be when we maybe try and go again. You see, uh, if you want to do any games, then just let me know. We can always uh, have some fun off stream, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll see you later. All right. Dang, that was uh, that was a showcase, all right. Um, <laughs> so absolute power forces where fiendish chain is. Veil is in Duelist Revolution. Yeah, I know it's an ultra. So fiendish uh, effect Veil has still got a little bit to go yet. But damn, man, that was a that was a show and a half. My God. So that's what God Beast can do, huh? <laughs> Dear God, okay, uh, 
yeah, Sekitor actually pulled his weight. I'll, I'll give it credit where it's due. It actually did, did what it was supposed to. Um, okay. So, as you can see with this wheel, we have uh, we have much bigger slots on a lot of the stuff here. Gold series is a bigger thing in this one. We can even get two packs if we are uh, very lucky off it. This is a specific wheel for when we do the Hidden Arsenal sets, of which there are only seven. It's a very limited setup here. So, I wanted to include a lot of the stuff that we weren't able to fit into the regular wheel here. There's a lot of Mega Packs and stuff that just don't really work as far as like getting tournament pack rewards and whatnot. I didn't really know where better to put them, but this works as like a limited a limited option thing, right? We're not gonna get to open these Mega Packs at any other time. So this will be a special case if we get to do one of these. And there's some pretty good cards in a lot of these. So let's just rip it open. We'll see what we get. Looks like it's going to be Raw Yellow, which is definitely one of the ones I want here. Um, so yeah, two packs of Raw Yellow. Let's hop on in. Um, actually, I mean, I guess I could go over that. The, these sets are gigantic, so I don't really want to spend too much time going over these. But um, also, where, where even are they here? I forget. Is it in this slot? Um, Dual Academy... So Yugi's one, so maybe it was the set, uh, maybe the year before or something. I don't actually, uh, or maybe I'm just missing it. Where the hell is the raw yellow one? I don't actually know it here. Uh, yeah, whatever, let's just open the packs then. I don't care enough to, to go into that. Yeah, there's some, there's some really, really good stuff in here. Uh, so, two packs, raw yellow, let's go. As you can see, we get 11 cards in, in here in total. We're always going to get a Super, an Ultra, a Secret. Um, we have noted if the Crystal Promise, for example, is a Secret Rare in here. If we get Crystal Promise, we are not converting all of our regular common Crystal Promises into Secret Rares. That would be stupid. I literally have 10 common ones right now. We're only going to trade the Secret Rare that we get in here. So it's going to be 1, not 8. Just as a heads up. Crystal Beacon is pretty close. That's good enough to show here. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Oh my god. We got JD! This is why I limited this card. That's why we limited this card. We got JD. Okay. Um... I don't have the Light Swan Backbone to really use it right now, but yeah, we have JD at this point. Um, Cyber End Dragon is a card I actually didn't have yet, so that's cool. Super Rare of Neo of Grand Mall here is nice. Ultra Rare Jane is good because I can trade that in. Um, I think I only have exactly three of these, so it's not going to matter. But yeah, I can trade this in for an Ultra now, which is pretty good. And then Crystal Beacon Secret. Uh, this is obviously good. If I go in, I need to add this to collection first just so I don't miss it. But if I go in real quick, I'll show my collection. I think I put it in here. Um, so I just want to actually show up. Yeah. Okay, so I have four copies of this card. The uh, Secret Rare Crystal Beacon would make it five. But because this is going from a common to a Secret Rare, we are only going to be able to trade the last one that we just picked up. This is not going to be trading for two secrets. This is only going to be one. If it goes, if it's ultra or secret that the common goes into, that's kind of ridiculous, right? We're not, we're not allowing that because again, if I look up Crystal Promise, which is also a card I could get in here as a secret rare, look at this. I have fucking nine of the card. I'd be able to trade seven secret rares if I got this one as a secret. That is way too strong, way too ridiculous, because it's going from a common to the rarest type of card you can get. That's bullshit, so we're only going to allow the trade of the uh, the last one that we got. But this does mean I have a secret rare that I can trade now, which is good. But I just wanted to make that known right now, because it matters here. The Grand Mall going to Super is okay. I think this is going from a rare to a super, so I can trade that in. I think I've got just a playset of this anyway, so this will just be one extra. And then the Jane would be the same as the Crystal Beacon, but I only have three Jane anyway, so it's only one extra. We get one more of these, because we do open two of these packs per, uh, per wheel spin. 
So we get one more. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Oh, uh, Light End Dragon. Okay. Um, Alright, so Cyber Dragon is a common this time. That's fine. Uh, Rainbow Dart Dragon, just in case I think you want that, right? Um, this is what I was talking about, right? Fucking Crystal Promise is a secret rare. If we were going strictly by just it's whatever the last rarity that you got is what your entire collection goes as, that's what we've been playing with because for the most part we've only been having the, uh, we've only had cards go from like at best common to super with that wave motion cannon, right? But this is a whole different story. This is going from the lowest rarity to the highest. So I'm, I put my, I, I like put the question to Kib on this one and we kind of put a foot down on it and we're going, no, we are not allowing all of these to become secret rares. That's stupid, right? So yeah, um, I only have one Lumina, so this is going to be second. So I have two copies of Lumina. Um, I have two Lumina, I have the playset of Jane, I have Celestia, I have one Wolf, and that's about it. Uh, and I guess this guy, but fuck this guy. He's bad. I should feel bad. It's actually tempting. Yeah, I could potentially do it. I could I could try and build a Chaos Swarm there now. Celestia is pretty damn good. Uh, we've seen that before. Celestia is pretty strong. So, I could try it. Um, would not be opposed. Uh, Light End Dragon is, I mentioned this one earlier when I was, I got this confused with Ancient Sacred Wyvern. This card is fine. It's not stellar, but it's pretty okay at the moment. It needs a Light Non-Tuner, but you know, it's level 8, so Cyber Dragon, for her. Um, and this card can run over some pretty powerful monsters, actually. It does have to cut its own attack down to 2100 for the first time round, but it cuts the opponent's monster by 1500. So it can run over anything that's less than 3600 attack. So this is actually not a terrible card for just now. Uh, and if I am going to run Cyber Dragon in plus like Gale or something like that, uh, it's usable. It's very usable. Okay, so then the last thing we've got is the trade-in for the Hidden Arsenal pack itself. Let's add that to collection real quick. So Rainbow Dark Dragon's kind of funny, right? Um, it's not a good card, but it's a funny one. Ha! Ah, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing seven dark monsters with different names in your graveyard. That's a big ass cost for it, but you know, whatever. Then banish every other dark monster from your field and graveyard to give it attack power for the rest of the turn. It's a 4,000 attack special summon, dude, but it takes so much setup to do, and I'd rather just play beginning of the end, right, than just draw three off it. So I wouldn't play it. The only reason I would play this, actually, is because I could use this as the crystal monster for Rainbow Neos. That is the only reason I would use it, and that's if I want to go for the gimmick of all gimmicks, right? But technically, I could play this as the ultimate crystal monster for uh, Rainbow Neos. That is the only reason to really consider it, right? Is because I could try and play it for that. Because Rainbow Neos is fucking gross. So the option is there, but it's not a good option, but if I want to have some fun for a bit, you know, I could maybe try it, right? Anyhow, my voice is just about dying here, so <laughs> we gotta we gotta move on for a bit, but uh, yeah, these cards are pretty alright though, not gonna lie. Uh, I have two secret trade I can do now, which is good. Let's just show some of the other stuff that we could have potentially gotten out of this set. Um, De Destiny Draw was in here as a secret rare. Uh, War Chariot was actually here as a rare. Um, Dark Lord Desire, I think, was kind of okay. It's a tribute monster. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big tribute, but like, tribute one fairy to get it out is alright, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it's got a non. It is a targeting, but it's got a non destruction removal effect, which is. Uh, pretty reasonable, I guess. You could reset it with Book of Moon, too. Um, so yeah, if you're playing a fairy deck, that's kind of fun. Uh, some of the other stuff we could have gotten, DeFi is a secret. JD's there, Stratos, as we mentioned, Grandmaster is a common, Card Trooper is here. There's a Glad Beast that I actually don't have yet. This would have been pretty cool. 
so if it's special summoned by Glad Beast, target one in your graveyard, banish it, and this name's gonna come. Yeah, so it's not a very good one, but like it's 1800, I guess, so not really bent out of shape about missing it. But you know, it's there. Deep, uh, Deep Prison was in here as well, though, that's a really good card. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, yeah, I only have one Mirror Force, so that would have been fine. Yeah, so there were some other, like, really good cards we could have gotten. Disc Commander was a rare in here, if we got that Destiny draw. Prisma was a common in here, and uh, Chaos did mention Thunder King Ryo as well, would have been fantastic. But, uh, Mizuki was in here too. Test Tiger is a common. Yeah, almost a Gateway is, uh, Gateway is coming up in the future. Um, so I almost feel like, yeah, we did get some really decent cards out of here, but I almost feel like, yeah, we could have gotten a lot better. But we could have also gotten a ton worse, so I'm not exactly complaining over it. Plasma was in here too, that's interesting. I'm not really complaining over the pack set here. I think we got pretty decent uh, overall, so yeah. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed yourselves. I need to stop again so I can uh, recharge my voice. Also recharge my uh, my prate too, because I've got a bit of a headache coming on now. Need to get a drink and whatnot. Uh, yeah, no, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves. Uh, took a pretty clean set today. Um, two decks uh, used, two decks very successful, even though I didn't get to use the main like, tech that I was trying in either deck. You know what? It's fine. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stardust Overdrive is... is it the next one or is it Absolute Power Force? I forget. I think it's Power Force actually, isn't it? Um, let me go and take a look. That's Destruction Dex, that's not what we need. It is Stardust... no, it is Stardust Overdrive next. Okay. Stardust Overdrive and then Absolute Power Force. Those are those will be the next ones. Hopefully we play on Thursday, but we'll see. Anyway, take care and see you later on.